Let's look at a few unusual mechanical pencils from Dixon. at some mechanical pencils manufactured and marketed for Dixon or Dixon Ticonderoga depending on which packaging you're looking at and we are going to start with the old and move to the new as I like to do so let's set this one aside for a moment we have here the original iteration of the Dixon Sensematic by original I mean when it first came out it was also available in yellow, traditional Ticonderoga yellow, which I suppose would be the original. And this, uh, based on the copyright date information here, 1988 Dixon Ticonderoga, this was coming out, which by the way, there's a Sandusky, Ohio. Didn't know Dixon ever had headquarters in Ohio. That's interesting. Um, anyway, what was I saying? 1988. So that was when really mechanical pencils were just starting to overtake woodcase pencils in classrooms for middle schoolers and high schoolers, say. And I was using a Scripto classic mechanical pencil. But there were other offerings that uh, were popular. The forerunner to the standard now familiar Bic mechanical pencil these uh an ancestor of these was in the 80s available as was the earliest version of the papermate sharp writer and i have a package from the 80s here nineteen eighty four Gillette Company, Papermate Division. So in the end of the 80s, Dixon brings out the Sensematic Mechanical Pencil, which, if I understand the timeline properly, they introduced it, it went away for a little while, then they reintroduced it relatively recently with some changes that hopefully we will see. So let's first look at the packaging here for the original box. So this is black you can see there's one in there and i've taken one out and when i found it there were only two in the box that's okay uh, originally came as a box of a dozen so if we look at the labeling here sensematic the disposable pencil that senses when you need more lead and automatically advances just the right amount by dixon for fine line use see that it is a 0 0.5 millimeter lead Rich black, long lasting 0.5 millimeter lead, disposable automatic self feed system with a quality white eraser. How to use the Sensematic pencil? Just right. The lead doesn't even have to be visible. The Sensematic pencil will advance enough lead when its point touches the paper. Enjoy weeks of uninterrupted, hassle free writing. Dixon Ticonderoga, Sandusky, Ohio. So here's the pencil. First of all, it seems rudimentary in certain respects. This weird, supposed to be wood colored plastic cone at the tip and then a kind of a sleeve to hold the lead, which that is not lead. That black piece you see there is plastic. And the lead, they say it doesn't have to be visible to work. I hope that is the case. And I have found it is the case. Although work here is a, uh, a loose term, uh, but I like the way they have the green labeling here. It's kind of a, has a luster to it. It's almost like it's a uh, mother of pearl type material and I'm sure it's plastic, but the effect that you're just not getting on this camera is quite nice. You can see that this pencil was manufactured in Taiwan I'm not sure that was visible anywhere on the K 
case. Maybe it was. Yes, this was made in Taiwan, printed in Taiwan. All right, so it says fine here. There's a product number, I guess, or model number 25,000. The, the ferrule is in the traditional Dixon Ticonderoga colors. The eraser is white rather than pink, as you normally see on Dixon Ticonderogas. So we see that there is no lead visible. I don't hear any lead moving around. So I'm, I have to assume there's only one piece of lead in here. And I'll pull the other one out also. I've been using this one to test it for a little while. I don't hear any extra lead here either. I don't know if either of these had been used prior to me finding them. Let's just give this a try. So I can't see the lead. Oh, I can see a tiny little bit of it protruding above the tip of that cone. And you will probably not be able to see it on this. Maybe just a little bit. So I do not know what kind of magic is going on in there to make it come out of its housing. It says it's disposable, so this does not apparently have a way to be refilled. That has changed in the newer models, but in this model, there doesn't seem to, way, to be a way to, uh, to refill the leads. But, you know, plastic mechanical pencil is just kind of, it's a deal breaker, right? Why, why would you buy a mechanical pencil, especially one? Presumably, these were priced at the high end of mechanical pencils because of its unique features. Certainly more expensive, one would think, than the paper mate, which uses a twist action to extend the lead. And these were available in the late 80s. Or the now familiar Bic click mechanism. I prefer a twist because I think it tends to be more robust and less prone to failure. But this has a mysterious lead propelling action. Uh, and I assume, I don't know much about how these were priced when they were first introduced. But uh, a disposable pencil with presumably just one lead in it. Maybe I'm wrong in that. Maybe there are more and they're somehow held so that you can't hear them moving around. And there doesn't seem to be any way to access the interior. Neither of these unscrew. So it's a sealed compartment, a mysterious box whose inner workings you cannot probe. But I have been using it just to um, jot notes to myself throughout my workday for a week or two. And the lead has always been there to be used when I needed to write with it. Although one finds, well, I find that I need to hold it more in a upright position than I usually hold a pencil, usually more of a obtuse angle from the upright, but this requires more of an acute angle from the upright in order to make sure you're getting full contact with the lead. Otherwise, you, it can be a little bit scratchy and light because only a part of the lead is, is actually making contact. You can see a difference probably when I've held the pencil at my normal writing angle versus when I held it more straight up and down. So there are weaknesses to this design. That's the original. They re-released then the Sensematic, although I'm looking here, 
Now that I'm looking, I do not see the word sensematic here, so maybe this is no longer called that. It's simply called the world's smartest pencil. Still made in Taiwan. This has a 2011 date. No sharpening, no clicking, no twisting. Always a sharp point. Refillable. So that is a change. How to use. Lead will self-advance when pencil touches the paper. No need to click. Lead does not need to be visible to work. And this is a 0 0.7 millimeter, so a little more broad than the, a uh, little thicker lead than the previous iteration of that. And I don't know if the original came in multiple sizes. I tend to doubt it. Probably was all the same. But let's uh, open this and see how these do. Okay, so I have removed one of these from the packaging. Let's set that aside. So a two-pack, from what I understand, this was selling in markets for around oh, six or eight bucks for a two-pack. So still quite on the expensive side when you compare it with the offerings from other mechanical pencil manufacturers. So you're paying for the novelty of not having to click or twist and the mystery that lurks beneath. Now this one advertises itself as refillable and it has this compartment with extra leads in it. It just holds the leads for you. This is it's not an automatic feed. When it's out of lead, you have to actually take this compartment out, remove a lead, drop it down inside the opening on the pencil, and reclose. Wow, okay, so while I did that, a bunch of lead just uh, came out, and there's no way to, to push it back in. So I think I have to sacrifice that amount of lead. I don't know how else to get it to go back in. Okay. I guess I'm done with that. I just, well, all in the name of science. To complete my review, I'll sacrifice as many leads as I need to. It's rather a handsome pencil too. I don't know if this came in other colors, standard Ticonderoga yellow, for instance, or in the black like the previous one. This one looks a little more high tech, a little fancier than the previous one. Black eraser, standard Ticonderoga ferrule, Ticonderoga Sensematic. So the Sensematic is on the pencil, just not on the marketing on the bubble packaging here. So let's. I don't know how it's gonna, well, there's lead there. So even though I broke off a bit, my writing angle here is weird because of the uh, tripod. It has the same feeling as the previous one, so they I don't think they've made any changes to the lead advance mechanism. It still feels like you want to hold the pencil more upright to get full contact with the lead because it extends just a tiny bit above that plastic cone. And I don't know of any way to make it go further.
when you write with it at a normal writing angle, at least if you're me and use the angle that I use, uh, it feels kind of scratchy and like it's not making full contact. And you get a lighter line. So the difference between holding it at a normal writing angle versus more straight up and down, you get a darker line. So you can, I guess, vary the uh, darkness, thickness of the line by doing that. But if you're writing and you have a preferred angle of writing and it's not within the sweet spot of this pencil, your experience will suffer for that reason. Um, it's a novelty. <clears throat> my My... Final takeaway, it's a novelty. It is not something that I would find comfortable writing with for an extended period of time because of the angle that you have to hold it for optimal performance. It just isn't the angle that I write at. And at my age, really, why do I want to change? I would uh, find writing with the much, much cheaper sharp writer more pleasant or even a standard um, if I had to choose any in this group to write with, the sharp writer would win 10 times out of 10. And they still make these, have been making them for 30 plus years. And uh, cheap, durable, ubiquitous, terrific pencil. If you're into the novelty, or you happen to be one who writes in an up and down orientation, um, this is really neat. It's a neat idea. If they had a way to make that lead extend just a tiny bit more, that would be much more useful to me. So there you go. The Sensematic from Ticonderoga or from Dixon, depending on which version you purchase. I do notice that the uh, original black is a little bit longer. Hadn't noticed that before, but it is. Attractive pencils, clever idea, um, somewhat weak in execution. Maybe that's why they never really took off. Regardless, I appreciate you sticking with this and watching. Comment if you have any experience with these or you have seen a mechanical pencil that you think maybe I ought to be trying. Uh, I appreciate you watching and I hope to see you here again next time.